Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here, so just before this video starts, I just want to quickly say that unlike my other Halo 5 Forge creation reviews, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be showing screenshots of the prefabs instead of like gameplay of me checking them out and stuff, and the reason for that is because my Xbox is kind of stuffing up at the moment when it comes to recording clips for some reason. I've tried many different methods and nothing's working like at all. I can't record normal clips. I can't even do the recording the last five minutes of gameplay thing because otherwise the clips are just really short for some reasons like one to two minutes long even though I want them to be like five minutes long. So it's really really weird and uh, yeah um, I'm just going to be showing screenshots of the prefabs here today since the screenshots is all that's working for me sadly. And uh, yeah, it's it sucks, but hopefully by the next Xbox update, everything is fine. Because you see, I am a part of the Xbox update preview beta after all, so I am very, very likely to encounter bugs. In fact, I do encounter bugs all the time, and I've actually been thinking about reverting to just the normal public updates lately, but I don't know. What do you guys think down in the comments below? Should I just do that? So then I don't really have to do with these bugs anymore, or should I just stay and, you know, be cool getting all the early updates and stuff. But yeah, so anyways, sorry about this message being too long. Uh, anyways, the video is now starting now. Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here and welcome back to a brand new Halo 5 Forge creation review here on the channel. So I've been trying to record this video for about a week now. So let's just hope everything goes well because I've got a way I'm going to be able to successfully record this now without there being any recording failures or anything. Because, you know, the videos have been going fine. It's just the recordings that end up, like, not recording, if you know what I mean. So when I'm trying to record gameplay, it's not recording it. It's really weird, but now I've figured out a solution, so hopefully it works. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at some Star Wars creations by Ben Diaz. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll have the name up here. So yeah, Ben Diaz, if you're watching this, please tell me if that's how you pronounce the name. Because I don't really know. I think it's Ben Diaz. It looks like it's just Ben Diaz. So yeah, so the reason why I'm actually taking a look at these prefabs today in Halo 5 is because I was tagged in a tweet on Twitter about over a week ago now. And it was showing off this tie interceptor made by Ben Diaz, and I thought, hey, that looks pretty cool, I might review that. And so, yeah, I've been wanting to review it ever since, but instead of just reviewing that, I'm actually reviewing five of his Star Wars creations. Yes, that's right, five of them. And they all look really, really good. Like, here's a few screenshots of the amount of Star Wars creations he has. He has a huge amount of them. And yeah, you should be sure to check them out. They would have taken him such a long time to make. So yeah, so now how about we get started? So first up we have the Krillian Corvette, which is made out of 395 objects. Now, I know it says 397 down there, but the only reason as to why it does say that is because there's uh, two other objects in this map right now where, where there are... They're somewhere. They're somewhere on the map. I don't really know. But yeah, so 395 objects. And it's very detailed. I really do like the ship. I remember when I first uh, took a look at it about a week ago when I was trying to record the first time. I was shocked, honestly, at how detailed it was. And I wasn't really expecting it to be this big either, like almost to scale. So yeah, it's a pretty nice creation. I really do like it overall. And yeah, it's just, it's a pretty detailed ship and it would have taken quite a long time to make. And usually a lot of my Forge maps alone do have about 370 to 380 objects in them. So this makes up about just a bit more than one of my Forge maps, if not just one of my Forge maps. So yeah, good job on Ben DS for this very detailed ship. And you know what? Unlike my other Forge creation reviews, how about I give this a star rating? I'm going to give this a 9.5. So there we go. Alright, so the next creation we have here is the Nebulan B Frigate. Now, just like the last one, when I saw this one for the first time about a week ago, I was actually a lot more shocked than I was to see this than the Carillion Corvette, honestly, because it's such a massive ship, and it has 529 objects in it. Yep, that's right, 529 objects. It is a massive uh, cruiser, as you can all see here. Big, massive frigate. And... Yeah, it's just so detailed as well, you can really tell with the detail, especially around this bit and, you know, at the front as well, there's quite a lot of detail. There's even a hangar that's been made as well, so, yeah, that just goes to show detail put into this thing, so good job. 
Ben Diaz, you did a really good job doing this. Obviously it would have taken quite a long time and it would have taken probably longer than the Carillion Corvette as it does have more objects involved and it is a bigger creation so it would have probably taken longer to make this but yeah it is a really really nice looking ship and I like it, I like every detail of it just about and uh, yeah I'm gonna give this a 9.5 star rating just because of its detail and its work put into it because you can tell that Ben DS obviously does put a lot of work into these like really and uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this one. It's a really nice ship, and uh, yeah, let's get on to the next one. So next up, we have the A-Wing. Now, this is made out of 186 objects, and trust me, I am shocked that this is made out of 186 objects, because just look at how big it is. It's such a small ship, yet it's got so much in it. Like, really? 186 objects? That is actually shocking to me. See, so yeah, honestly, that is a very, very shocking just number of objects for such a small ship. And it has so much detail put into it as well. Like, honestly, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 just because of just how smooth it looks as well. Like, most creations, right, when you're trying to make something, it's going to have some rough edges on it. But this, it just looks so smooth. Honestly, it's just so smoothened out and so detailed. Like, honestly, Bendis has done a good job on this, and it is really deserving of it being a 10 out of 10. Because, honestly, just look at this. It looks like an actual A-Wing from Star Wars itself. So, yeah, honestly, just good job on this. And also, I'm pretty sure one, I mean, not one A-Wing. I'm pretty sure about two and a half A-Wings, or two and a bit A-Wings, would make up for that Carillion Corvette. Because the Carillion Corvette, if I'm correct, if I remember, is about 394 objects. I'm not sure. I think it's about 394 objects or so. So, if two of these can make up 372 objects, right, 372 objects, then that would mean that only about two and a bit would make up for that massive Carillion Corvette. So it just goes to show how much detail is really put into these A-Wings. So yeah, now how about we move on to the next creation. Alright, so next up we have the TIE Interceptor. Now, this is actually the creation that made me want to start this review in the first place. So of course I'm going to have to review this one in one of my five prefabs that I have here for you guys today. So this TIE Interceptor looks pretty good and it is made out of 264 objects. Now I really do like the detail put into it, especially on the wings here. Now the front part, as you can tell, it's kind of edgy, if you know what I mean. Like, a bit rough, but it does look really good nevertheless. I really, really do like this, and you can tell there's been a lot of work put into it. And for its size as well, 264 objects is a lot. And I bet all those 264 objects as well, well, not all of them, because you've got objects out here on the sides, of course, with the wings, but I bet a lot of them were actually put into, like, this frontal part of the ship here, like the middle part. So, obviously, a lot of work has went into this, a lot more than the A-Wing, I would say. And, uh, yeah, this gets a 9.5 out of 10. I really, really do like this, and it really does resemble the TIE Interceptor, and the, the amount of detail put into this is just immense. So, yeah, now let's move on to our next and last creation for today. Okay, so next and last we have the Imperial Shuttle Landed. Now, there is a flying version of this, but uh, I just chose to do the Landed one today since I think it just looked really cool, so yeah. So this has 810 objects in it. Yep, that's right, 810 objects. So it is very, very immensely detailed, as you would be able to tell. So the thing I really do like about this, and the thing I've actually always really liked about it since I saw it about a week ago now, um, is the steam that comes down from the, like, from the door and the back out here and stuff. Because it just goes to show that it is opening up. And I really do like that little minor detail put in, you know, so when uh, someone's coming out here, yeah. So then, of course, you have the thing at the back as well, the steam coming out from the back. So, yeah, some nice little minor details put in there. I really do like that. But this thing is actually a lot bigger than I realized, actually, now when I properly look at it. Like, the wings on it are just absolutely massive. 
Honestly, imagine seeing the flying model for this thing. Honestly, I'd actually really like to take a look at that now. But yeah, so something that I actually just realized, and this is actually something that I forgot to mention with the A-Wing 2. In case you didn't realize, right, the machine guns on the side, they had rocket launchers as, like, the machine guns. So that's a nice little detail put in. But with this as well, they've got, like, the rocket launchers here as sort of, like, machine gun or whatever it is things. So yeah, that's pretty nice detail put in. And in fact, I think that's rocket launchers up there as well. So yeah, it's some pretty minor details and, you know, it just goes to show the amount of, like, what's what's the word I'm trying to search for here? There's a certain word. But yeah, um, just goes to show that he's, that Ben DS is willing to use any sort of object in his creation as long as it makes up for the detail. You know, so using rocket launchers, that's pretty smart since it really does make up for the detail of this creation. And uh, yeah, it's honestly just a really great looking Imperial shuttle. Looks almost like the actual thing. Very, very detailed. From a far view, it actually looks really good. I like it from a far view. So yeah, honestly, just circling like this is very smooth and just gives it a very attractive look. So overall, I'm going to give this thing a 10 out of 10 since I really do like it. And a lot of detail would have been put into this as it is made out of about 810 objects. In fact, how about we actually take a proper look underneath here since I think there's a lot of detail put into here. Yeah, there is. You can really tell a lot of detail and stuff. So yeah, obviously a lot of work went into this ship. And uh, yeah, good job on Ben DS for it. And so anyways guys, I guess that is the end of today's Halo 5 Forge creation review. Did, en did you enjoy? Uh, be sure to tell me down in the comments below what your thoughts on these prefabs are. Honestly, I think they're all great. Be sure to check out Ben DS's creations if you want. Uh, he's made some really great Star Wars ones, so if you are someone who's into Star Wars as well, then that would be great to look at. And also, fun fact, the, the new Star Wars movie actually just released recently, so that's cool I guess. And uh, yeah, I really want to go see that. But anyways, again, thank you all for watching, and Ben Deus, if you are watching this video, um, down in the comments below if you want, tell me the, pr the process of making these ships, I would really like to know that, because that would be very interesting to hear from your point of view, and uh, how long did it take as well, that's another question for you as well, my friend. But yeah, thank you all again for watching, I'll see you all soon next time, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications for more if you did enjoy, and I'll see you all soon, bye bye.